What's up, everybody? This is like the Tech Preacher. So I got the Universe Tank 1. I got the Tank 2. And then I got the new kid on the block, the Universe Tank 3. Now, both of these, all three of these devices is unique. It brings a lot to the table. So in this video, we're going to talk about display. We're going to talk about performance. And we're going to talk about build quality. So let's get into it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So let's go over the, over the hardware, uh, the software. Uh, let's go over the display. We're gonna talk about performance here in this video. So let's talk about the hardware. This is the Tank 1. As you can see, it's a lot thicker uh, and uh, they, they thought process was to give you a rugged style device uh, that gives you days and days of battery life. If you out camping and everything else in between, this is what it's for. Uh, you got a 22,000 milliamp battery in this one, and it was really good, right? All week battery life. Then uh, Unihertz came out with the Unihertz Tank 2. Now, if you look at the Unihertz Tank 1, the Tank 2, look like Unihertz slimmed down a little bit. Just a little bit, right? It's not as thick. It slimmed down a little bit, and this is not as heavy. Uh, and it I bought in a projector. Right, and they slimmed the battery down a little bit to fifteen thousand five hundred milliamps, uh, and it bought a hundred and twenty hertz display. So that is something unique uh, on the Tank Two that it bought a hundred and twenty hertz display, also a projector, which I have a full video about this projector on my YouTube channel. So check it out. Now, here is the new kid on the block. This is a Tank Three. Now. <laughs> It went this the opposite when it come down to thickness and heaviness. The Tank 3 is thick. It's heavy. It's a lot weighty. Now, it does have a 23,800 milliamp battery in here. And I think that's the design of what they want to go with. A longer battery life and everything else in between. Now, we got our blasters on all three. Uh, and But it went away with the projector this time. So, it got, got rid of the projector. But... What the Unihertz Tank 3 brought to the table is a newer processor, all right, for better performance, 120 hertz display. It brought in, God, uh, the 200 megapixel cameras, uh, 50 megapixel cameras. It brought in a lot. I'm going to have a dedicated camera review coming for, uh, for all three of these devices so y'all can see the camera difference. But when it comes down to all three of these devices when it come down to build quality i think the tank 2 with the slimmer design not as heavy is probably the more or less intrusive as far as the weight versus all three now don't get me wrong this device here has a lot that they bought to the table you got 5g support you have the dimensity 8200 in here you got 16 gigs of ram you got 512 gigs of storage you got 23,800 milliamp battery so this is a beast now in this thick but this is a beast you got do sim support and sd card support you have our blast and everything else in between now that is important 5g finally 5g and a newer processor so when it comes down to the build quality man I don't know. You be the judge for yourself. But as we talk about the specs, the Tank 1 has the G99 processor with 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. The Tank 2 has the G99 processor, but it bought 12 gigs of RAM. Uh, the Tank 3 uh, bought in a dimensity processor, uh, 8200 with 16 gigs of RAM. So let's talk about processing power. And we're going to run, uh, I'm going to let y'all guys look at the benchmark test here that I ran. So let's look at the benchmark test that I ran. Okay. So when you look at the benchmark test, right, the Tank 1 scores 730 single core, uh, 2000, uh, 2018 multi-core on the Tank 1. The Tank 2 scored a 727 and 1999 on this uh, single core and multi-core kind of wasn't what here because both of them got the G99 processor, but it's got 12 gigs of RAM. So kind of shocked to see that it is 
a lot lower, but it is running a high refresh rate. So that may be cutting in the performance. All right. So we have the dimensity processor here. So scores have went up tremendously. 1250 on single core and 3892 on multi-core score. This is a huge difference here and it does feel smoother and better. But one of the things that I do want to do is I do want to run 3D Mark. And I want y'all guys to see this, the performance difference as we get into it. So I got, uh, I'm going to run the wildlife because it's only like a minute or so. And I want y'all guys to see the performance here when this attacks the GPU and CPU. So y'all guys can see boom, boom, boom. Okay. And what you're going to see here, right, is uh, you're going to see some crazy performance out of the tank three all right and as you can see i started the tank three later but it started first and uh as i'm looking at this let me get this light out the way so when you look at this you can see the frames per second is a whole lot different i'm getting 30 to 40 frames per second here i'm only getting about seven and a half frames per second here and i'm getting about seven to nine frames per second here so this is a huge difference in performance when you're looking at 3d mark now the gpu and the cpu is totally different here and you see it you see no stuttering no hiccups here and this is crazy i'm getting over 42 frames per second here with uh running on the tank three which is absolutely marvelous and i'm getting about seven to eight frames per second here on both of these devices now when you look at the scores the scores is totally different here right look at these scores the tank three is killing it right now especially with that new processor nice optimization and everything else in between wow look at that score 64 63 uh, overall score compared to about 12 and some change with both of these devices and when you look at the overall score here so you're looking at uh, a little lower here on the tank two. And again, I believe that is because of the, the refresh rate. I believe that you got a lot of stuff going on here with the, the projector software and everything else in between. So that's why you are probably getting a lower result here. Now Unihertz is not that great when it come down to updates. It's not that great when it come down to updates. So we run an Android 12 here with uh, November 2022 security patch. I have not received any uh, updates for this device in a while. I, I, obviously you can see, uh, this is the Tank 2 running Android 13 with June 5th, 2023. Now this is the new kid on the block. This is gonna be, uh, uh, the, the Tank 3 is, going, is running Android 13 with October 5th, 2023. So it's pretty much up to date. So that is a good thing. Okay. So let's talk about displays, right? I got all the, both, all the displays cranked all the way up to the max. Okay, let's go to display. Okay, so let's talk about displays here, okay? Which this is my display tester. Okay, and uh, once again, I have all devices all the way up to max okay okay so i got all the way up to max brightness all right so let's go to the run the display test now what it does is it forces all the devices at 50 percent brightness uh so let's look at that all right forces each device at 50 percent brightness uh, but all of them look pretty good. These these gonna be IPS displays here, uh, and they're a little washed out here. But I mean, for the most part, uh, look like your Tank Three is gonna have a better overall display. Looking at the colors here, okay. Look at that. Kind of going to that. Look at that. A little washed out here, but it's you know that's the Tank One. But uh, when you look at it. Looks really good. Again, a little washed out here. Now it forces the devices at fifty percent brightness, so you do you do have a little color shift here. Okay, all right. 
So that is going to be the colors. Okay, we're going to turn that brightness at 100%. We're going to look at this at 100% brightness. So we had 100% brightness on all three devices. And as you can see, the Tank 3 and the Tank 2 is a little brighter than the Tank 1. All right. Colors look good on all three. All three of them look really good. Again, the Tank 1, since it's a little older technology, you could tell that it, uh, it, it doesn't have that detail. Okay. When you look at the grass, uh, you got the Tank 3 absolutely looks great here. All the colors look nice and accurate. Okay. And we're looking at that. You be the judge here. Yeah, all three of them look really good here. But the, I would give it to the Tank 3. Tank 3 display does look a lot better here. Okay. And we're looking at the blues. Uh, I tell you, the Tank 2 a little washed out here in the blues a little bit. But the Tank 3 does look good. And uh, the Tank 1 actually looks a lot cooler. A little deep color there. Okay. And we, we're looking at this color. Got a total color shift here in the Tank 1. Uh, you got a little accurate colors here, both of these devices here. And again, this is going to be your older device. So when you're looking at this, I would still give it to the Tank 3. Tank 3 does look a lot more detailed. Look at the details there. Looks good here. Okay. And we're looking at that. Uh, again, I would give it to the Tank 3. Look like the Tank 1 is a little washed out right there. Different color shift going on there. Okay. And look at that red. Now we're looking at that red. I tell you, uh... Uh, the tank two looks really good when it comes down to that red okay all right and that's that's going to be it all right so here's my conclusion when it comes down to the hardware the the tank three is a chunky boy it's thicker it's heavier than the tank one the tank two look like the tank two slimmed down a little bit versus the tank one all right uh the tank one again a fantastic device um this it's kind of horrible that it's running Android 12 uh, and it has not received any updates. And that's kind of the trend with Unihertz uh, that they need to get on the ball with software updates because they come out with all these devices and they don't support them for long periods of time. Now, don't get me wrong. The Tank 2 is on Android 13 and it is still getting security patches. Don't know about Android 14 at this point. Uh, the Tank 3 have Android 13 with the latest security patch. It's the new kid on the block. So obviously it's going to be the latest and greatest. Now, when it comes down to displays, I believe that the, the Tank 3 display is just a little tap better when they look at it. But don't get me wrong. All three displays is beautiful. Uh, but the Tank 3 display is just a little better. You got 120 hertz on these two devices. Now you got 90 hertz and 120 hertz that you can drop down here on the Tank 2, on the Tank 3. On the Tank 2, you get, uh, you're get you going to get 120 hertz. Tank 1, 60 hertz. Performance absolutely doubled on the Tank 3. So if you're looking for performance, the Tank 3 is going to be the way to go. It is smooth and fluid. Oh, my goodness, when it comes down to scrolling. But don't get me wrong. It's nothing wrong with the Tank 1, right? It still does very good here, as you, as you can see. It's just smoother on the Tank 2 and the Tank versus the Tank 1. And then when you look at the Tank uh, 3 compared to the Tank 2, the Tank 3 is just absolutely smooth. And uh, so I really do like the smoother performance here out of these devices. Now, when it comes down to uh, everything else, the battery life, listen, the battery life is going to be King Supreme on the Tank 3. Uh, I've been having this device about two weeks and uh, it, it's been phenomenal when it comes down to battery life. Now, let's talk about cameras for a second before I end this video. I'm going to do a complete camera review between all, the, all these devices, a dedicated camera review. So stay tuned for that. I really love the tank series of devices. Uh, they've been very good. I've been using the tank as my daily driver. The tank Two actually been my daily driver, but I just put my sim card but i put it in the tank three over the past couple of weeks and it's been phenomenal this is a very heavy phone man like this is very heavy you have to understand you ain't wearing gym shorts you're not putting this in some light weight pants uh it's definitely gonna drop it down so you you got to make sure you prepare uh for anything when you carrying any one of these devices but especially the Tank 2, the Tank 3, because it's definitely a very heavy device. 
But overall, here it is. I just want to do a comparison video between build quality, display, and performance uh, between the Unihertz Tank 1, Unihertz Tank 2, and the Unihertz Tank 3. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. For more coverage, stay tuned and subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Peace.